You're watching SHOT Show TV and I'm David Lombardo. We're gonna talk with uh, Bruce Pyatt. Bruce is actually someone who makes a living as a professional shooter and a trainer. It's tough to do, it's a tough market. And you're doing okay. It is. Uh, go ahead. I've been a, a, a law enforcement for 32 years and, and once I retired, I was, I was shooting the whole time being a, a professional shooter. Once I retired, now it's, now it's time sure. to make a living doing this. Sure. So you, what, what do you teach? What kind of courses do you teach? Well, I teach some shooting classes, but mostly right now I'm focusing on uh, what I call my custom 1911 build classes. For 30 years I've been a competitive shooter. Every shooter needs their gun worked on. And uh, of course you go to a gunsmith. Well, I'm a tinkerer and, and uh, every time your gun breaks you have to send it off to go get it fixed. Well, I got tired of shipping it, having no gun or, or waiting for it to come back or, and being out of the, out of the game. So I, I wanted to learn. So I, I took every class I could. I picked every gunsmith's brain. Um, and I learned how to do it myself. Um, I'm to the point where I build my own custom guns for match shooting. Um, and I'm at a match one day and I'm working on, working on my guns and somebody says, hey, you should, you should teach people how to do that. I want to learn how to do it. And uh, it was right at the time when I was ready to retire from police. So I go, huh, huh that's a clue. <laughs> I was a cop, Plan that's a B clue. just came up. <laughs> that's yeah. right. So, so that's what do I'm you doing. travel around the country or do you local or where are you out of? I do. I'm out of uh, Pennsylvania, okay. uh, northern Pennsylvania. But when I teach the classes, I go around the country. Uh, wherever we find students that want to do it, I get a host, they put, set up the location, and I travel to them. And you don't need a range then, because you're actually teaching building, right? Yeah, well, we need a range to test fire. Oh, sure. So we get there, uh, the host gets up a, a classroom, it takes five days, it's five long days, hands on. Now, the, the, the gunsmith class that I'm doing, it's not machine work, it's not uh, lays and mills, this is all done by hand, old school. Done by hand. We, we uh, start with Caspian Arms frame and slide, and um, the students buy the custom parts, whatever they want, any caliber, and uh, I teach them how to fit every single part. Frame to slide, barrel fit, trigger jobs, every part comes out of a bag and gets tuned and put into the gun. Nothing is dropped in. Um, in competition, your guns have to work. That's what I learned. Everything, everything is tuned. So I teach them how to uh, do that and their guns are gonna run. Um, almost every time after the, after the classes, we go to the, the test fire range and everybody guns just run. We don't have any problems. Once in a while we go back and have to tune them up, but by the end of those five days, their guns are running. So particularly the 1911, yep. really sort of comes in two flavors. The really loose type that, that the military carries, you can fire it in the mud, yep. and then the, and the, and the tighter, Collins type. Yes. So what, what are you what do you actually do? No, I teach them the methods that I do to make a match grade tight gun. Um, depending on their ability, some guys really get it. I've had one inch firing guns at 50 yards out of my class. The students did it in the classroom in five days. Um, I've had others that didn't do it so good and, and they end up with a uh, you know, a good carry gun. Nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with the carry gun that they, they shoot uh, two inches at 25. So, you know, nobody would shake a stick at that. Sure. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's it, and what they do is they're, they're learning how to build the gun. Um, they just bought their parts and they have their gun and then they leave, but it's something they treasure. It's, it's something they built with their own two hands. And, and they, they can and they repair have a, themselves. Exactly. And everybody thinks, well, I'm just going to do this one gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never. Mm -hmm. Never. It doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. Either as soon as they come out on the range and they show their friends, either they're fixing their guns or they're, uh, they're hooked and they're, and they're building parts. And, and they actually, I've had friends, uh, my first class three years ago, um, he's up to 22 guns he's already built. He just keeps going. He says, I'm hooked. He says, I curse you. <laughs> so what, what is something like that? Forget your part for a minute. Yep. Just the, the gun itself. What does it typically cost to do that? Well, just the parts alone, uh, probably $1,500, good quality parts. So you're building a high-end gun. Oh, yeah. High-end in terms of what mortals can afford without yeah. going into the ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. You can, uh, basic, a basic 1911, almost no checkering, you can get away with about $1,000, uh, all the parts. And then there's tuition for the class, $1,500. Um, some tools, minimal tools if you're going to start off slow and, buy, and do one gun. Never happens. Uh, you can use my tools if, if you are truly going to do try and do one gun. You can use my, uh, you know, jigs, 
so to speak. Sure. To, you know, you don't have to invest a lot in tools. You can do minimal hand tools, um, but it never happens. Uh, so yeah, you can figure about three grand. You're done with the bit. class and you're done with the gun, the gun that you built with your own two hands. So do you, in advance, do you send them a list of parts and, and some sort of an explanation? You may want this over this for whatever reason? Well, yes, I, I send them a, a tool list, uh, a mandatory tool list and a suggested tool list, uh, a parts list to make sure they get everything they need. Um, I get them discounts at, at uh, Caspian and, and some of the other manufacturers that I have relationships with. And um, so they're ready to go. Uh, and since it's a 1911, yep. basically all the parts are gonna, they're all gonna work. That, that, I mean, that you would list, they're, yes. all, they're all gonna yeah. work. Yep. Mm -hmm. they, you know, you want quality. I mean, they're, sure. if they're investing this much money, they, 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 most of them go out and they buy the best they can. And this is one of the things with my class is that they're building it to their custom order. Sure. It's not like a package gun. Um, they go to Caspian Arms website and they can pick out what checkering they want. They can have their custom serial number put on it. Um, if you wanted uh, SHOT Show TV on the, as the serial number or, or written on the side, you can have that done. So when they're done with that gun, that's, their, that's gun. their showpiece. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I really like that. It really works. So, how do they get a hold of you? Well, all they have to do is, uh, you can shoot me out an email at uh, brucepyatt.com. I'll get you on the list. When a class appears in your area, or if you feel like traveling to a class, I'll let you know when it's in your area. And if somebody wants to bring you in, like if you, a club or something, yeah. said, well, let's, let's bring you into a class, how does that actually work? Do, do they pay you, or, do, or you, uh, how does it work? The host? You know, it, uh, the ho if they have a location, if I get enough students in that area, I'm coming. Um, the host has to take care of you know, the, some local things, like the range, range access, uh, classroom access, but other than that, there's, there's very little You'll cost show. to them. Yeah. You'll show up. Yeah. Tell them one more time. What is it? Website? Uh, BrucePyatt.com. Custom 1911. Build it yourself, repair it yourself, shoot it yourself. There you go. Perfect.